the three hole there, hit a couple of home runs on Friday nights. They're, they could be dangerous. We're underway in game three. And ball one here to start, Mr. Hage. The one two. Strikeout number one for Jack Caglione. This might be the Sunday battery for a good portion of the season, and it's a one out walk here for Pelfrey. Looking for strikeout number two, perhaps. There it is. That's how the inning comes to a close. The one out walk, not a problem here. We're underway in Gainesville. That one is slashed the opposite way. Might be extra bases intended for the corner. And Robertson is in with a double to start the Gators offensively. Speaking of long ball, this is going to travel a long way to the deepest part of the ballpark. And at the warning track, Selinski is able to glove it. Tagging at second and advancing is Robertson. Chance for his eighth run batted in this season, and he does just that. Laced one down the third base line. Robertson's in to score, and Luke will stand up at second base. One nothing, Gators. 10D of Columbia University. And ball four is also perhaps a pass ball, maybe a wild pitch. It allows Heyman to advance to third with ease. Next to Evans, driven high into right field, tracking his lats, it's to the track, to the wall, it's off the base of the wall. So everybody had to kind of hold up here. One will score from third, that's Heyman. And Shelton, who had to kind of slow it, ends up at third base. It wasn't a great body of work with regard to total innings. 19 and two thirds, and Tyler Shelnut goes yard here in the first. Home run, Gators. A three-run shot for Shelnut. It's his second round tripper of the year. RBI seven, eight, and nine. Four extra base hits in the inning was still just one out. I can't overemphasize how important this guy right there, Shelnut, is gonna be in the lineup of a guy that's hitting probably four hole in most college uh, teams in the nation and keeps his hands back on that sweeping pitch and that's all strength right there he knew he got it so show that it can be a big important cog in this lineup 429 batting average to start your uh, new season albeit a two-game sample they got the string pulled on him there strikeout number three for Kags and he's throwing it exactly where he wants right now he gets Cooper to chase, not only as a player, but beyond. Strike three call. Strikes out the side. Well, you say, what can this guy do on the mound? Well, let's see, slider for strikeout, fastball got him to chase, and then pure gas. Draws a leadoff walk. Second free pass from J.D. Ogden so far today. Might be two, they've yet to turn one this weekend, and tough time deciding who's got the bag here. And that should have been decided before that pitch is thrown, who takes that throw, so yeah. that's that's a communication error right there. Now John steps in front of the throw there. Looks like the throw is there. That's gonna find the hole, and around third is Jalen Guy, and it is six to nothing, Florida. So an RBI for the preseason All-American Jack Caglione. The error at second base was charged to the shortstop. This ball's driven well into the right center field gap. Two hopper to the fence. Should be two runners to score as well. Robertson around third and in. Caglione from first to third, scoring as well. And Luke Heyman with his second and third RBIs of the afternoon. That error around second base looms large right now. This is a pitch outer third, goes with it. And what I love about these Gator hitters, and we're not seeing it from the Columbia hitters, projected right now as a second team All-American. And a line drive stabbed by Cooper, laying out for it. And they throw and get the double up at second base. So after three runs score, there was an error in the inning. A sudden end to the bottom of the second inning. And that's a dazzler there for the Lions. And Snyder starts his season off with a walk. 2-2. Two -two. And a base hit into left field. Robertson will get to it quickly enough. 
Well, Hage, a big one here at the top of the order, and he lifts this one deep into left field, and just like that, on the first pitch, it's three to nothing. And now there's a question whether Hage passed up Blackwell on the base pass. I don't know what Blackwell was waiting on. Well, the umpires have not made any kind of a ruling. There was some checking by the first base umpires. They were almost parallel together between first and second, but Cole Hage with the home run here. He's right as he passes him up. Mm. Awful close. Cole Hage emerges again. 97 on that one. See you later. Fargo players that hit a lot of home runs. One guy for St. Louis Cardinals slash New York Yankees. Zero in the third inning. That one's gobbled up by Shellnut. And the inning comes to a close. The blemish, I guess, the leadoff walk in the third, and then, of course, the three-run home run to Hage. And what a pitch here by Philpott. And that's something that, you know, continues to have to be solved. Swing and a miss, and he starts this outing with back-to-back -back strikeouts. Going down to Coral Gables. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Strikes out the side. Alex Philpott. I don't think he threw a ball against Derek Yu. And Shelton drives this one into right, and it is gone. Adios, home run, Colby Shelton for the second time this year. The Gators shortstop makes it 9-3, Florida. The guy that hit one over the scoreboard in the preseason it's a no doubter here to right field. Puts his foot down, keeps his hands back on the off speed. And to hit a ball that far on an off speed pitch, that's all you. Flexing his two way strength this afternoon with a line drive base hit against the shift. The shift got him his last time up, and partner, he shoots one the other way here to lead off the bottom of the seventh. He won the game last night against the Kings. Tell you what, Stony Brook up that direction. Nobody out. And another one out of the zone as the second walk by Harrigan. They have Edwards warming in the Columbia bullpen. Pops this one up. Sky high. John battling the sun. Drop the baseball infield fly roll. The batter is out. Not a bad crowd here for the early start on this Sunday. And a walk is a run here as Caglione will come home from third base to score. 3 2. And he takes the pitch and he's aboard and an RBI for Thomas. Back to back walks. Guys, as this one is popped up, again, shielding the sun. Fellows is there to make the catch, tagging it third and coming in to score for the Gators is Colby Shelton. Gator center fielder, first pitch swinging. Shoots this one into center field. Selinski, got a good route to it, makes the catch shy of the track. Gators leave two on base, but get three runs here. And a couple of two-way players to show us today. Caglione for the Gators, and now Yace lifts this one up into right field. Lazitz lost it in the sun. No help from the infielders. That's going to drop in, and Yost is around second, head for third. Here's the throw. He is out at third base. That Heyman play loomed large in this ball game. And ball four here. Next home game is Wednesday, and there you go, the upcoming schedule. Bethune Cookman will be here. The next ball four inside. Payoff pitch. Ball four. One for three plus a walk today. The one was the double in the fifth, and he ropes one down the left field line. This might clear the bases. One run is in. Two runs in, they'll hold a man at third, and it is a second double of the day on the first pitch swinging Griffin Palfrey. Try the 2-2 again. Popped him up. Left side of the infield, and Shelna takes charge. Ball game.